Welcome back from the break. Today on our In Focus segment, we will interact with Irene Edubia Aining, a first class student of Unimac GIJ University, as she takes us on her academic journey. You are welcome to another segment on the In Focus segment. And as you know, we are still in the month of September and we are celebrating academic excellence. Today we have a special person here who came out with a first class and also won award for the best advertising student in her school. I mean, we have people like this and we should celebrate them more because sitting behind a book to learn is not an easy task, okay? So we are going to talk to her, have a conversation with her, and then she'll tell us about her challenges and how she was able to overcome them. And I'm sure you are going to learn something from it. My name is Anita Yayakbeku. Let's delve right into the conversation. Hello, Irene Edubia Aining. Hi, Irene. You're welcome to our InFocus segment. Thank you very much. Good to see you. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Irene, can you tell us, when we mention Irene Edubia Aining, who is she? So, my name is Irene Edubia Aining, like you mentioned. Yeah. I come from the eastern region of Ghana, Edukob to be specific. I attended Ekufton Senior um, Complex School from kindergarten to JHS 3, yes. And also, I went there after I went to New Jersey Senior High School, Koforidia. Then I came to Ghana Institute of Journalism, now Unimac. Amazing. Yeah. But you've completed that yeah, now? Yeah. Wow. That is really nice. So during your educational journey, how was it like? And even growing up at home, how was the upbringing like? Can you share any experiences with us? Okay, so I grew up in a family where um, daddy was a bit strict when it comes to academics. So wow. usually you see him hiding the remote just to prevent us from watching TV. Amazing. He's always on us. Sometimes we feel maybe he's been on us too much. Mm -hmm. So for instance, when daddy leaves the house, go to work, then you see us looking for the remote that <laughs> hey. we, so sometimes we find the remote we try to watch tv but most at times we don't get remote to watch tv at all so you can go like the whole term without watching television Interesting. that was how strict my daddy was and so i would say that that contributed in a way to um, my academic performance so um, right from Ekutom complex, I emerged as the best student for BC at that wow. time, yes, in my school. So I had the best graduating student at that time. And then I went to New Jersey. I didn't really go for a, um, a position in school, but I was so much interested in quizzes, um, specifically Bible quizzes. So okay. I contested for one for my house. Um, that time, Jabin Sewa, yellow, we were wearing yellow. Okay. And then I won for my house and also emerged as the best participant for the quiz. Wow. And then I came to GIJ. Yeah, so that was how the journey was like. Amazing. It's been a nice journey. I mean, best yeah. today. <laughs> You've been doing well and you're still doing well. That's why you're seated here today. Thank you. So, when it comes to finances, too, how was it like for you back in school? Okay, I would say that I was fortunate to get parents who put me through education. So wow. even if daddy doesn't have, mommy comes to support. Yes, and even along the line, I lost my mother, but still daddy was there to support. So regardless of everything, I got support from my parents. I got support from other family members. Mm -hmm. Yes. To Amazing. Talking, you mentioned you lost your mother. That could have impacted into your academics yeah. in several ways. Because growing up, I always wanted to be a journalist. Mm -hmm. So you would see me holding the newspaper, reading to my mommy. Okay. And she always loved it when I read. So she always say, I want to see you on TV. <laughs> so I went to GIJ um, to pursue communication studies. Right. And then I did a diploma first okay. before the degree. So I did a diploma. I was just left with some few months to complete the diploma course mm. and then graduate. Then that was when I lost my mother. Mm. Yeah, so it wasn't easy because I had exams to write and that was my final exams. But some way, somehow, I was able to pull through. Friends encouraged me, family members encouraged me. They were like, 
sometimes I feel like, oh, so my mother is waiting for me to like see, come on TV, she's all happy and all that and now she's not there, then why should I even study in the first place? But mm. I got people to encourage me, I got people to say that, no, I have to do it for my mother right. because she's expecting it. So um, the exams wasn't easy because it was so difficult for me to learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but in it all, I was able to overcome and then I also get got best grades during the diploma and then I fed the degree. Yes, yeah, sure, girl. <laughs> I mean, sorry for your loss, yeah. but all through you pulled out so well and you got best grades. Yes. That's good. Thank you so much for pulling through for mommy. <laughs> Thank you, too. Amazing. <laughs> so, how is it like getting into GIJ? Was it a smooth ride? Yeah. And when you got there, how was the reception like? And when it comes to academics, did you have any challenges? Okay, so. Even though I wanted to be a, um, a journalist, right. I was scared of math. So I would say that um, even though I was looking at other schools, not GIJ, I looked at Legon, but right. unfortunately I couldn't get a journalism course. Okay. I was looking at public relations or journalism, but I got public administration when I was looking for Legon. So okay. I decided that, okay, let me go to GIJ. First and foremost, it can help me shape who I want to become. Exactly. And then second, I was going to dodge math. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, when I went the first semester, I just checked my courses and statistics was there. I was hey. like, <laughs> I'm dodging maths because I really hate maths. Mm. I don't know. For, right from the start, I had um, basic school, JHS. I had so many maths like class teachers right. because uh, my daddy knew my weakness. Exactly. So yeah, I had teachers to teach me, but it didn't help. I won't say the teachers didn't do well, mm. but I feel... I'm just not interested in maths. <laughs> okay. But I went to GIJ, I met statistics. It was very difficult, wow. I won't lie. It was very difficult. Sometimes we write exams and, um, sorry, made some over 40. I'll just get nine over 40. I'm hey. like, how do I make it? <laughs> I you know? know, right? So that was how terrible it was. But I was able, I was, so what helped me was I made friends with people who had strength in that course. Okay. So I had a friend, she's called Irene. She was good in math. I had a friend, Hamdia. So anytime I have problems, I know that this is my weakness. Right. This friend can help me. So I just go, anytime you're having a test, anytime it's exam, then they just take me through. And then I was able to also pass my statistics without any reset. Amazing. Yeah, so these were some of the challenges I faced. And then I realized that when I got to GIJ, presentation was something that they really like. Mm -hmm. And even though I would say <laughs> I'm scared, but sometimes I'm shy. Okay. Looking at a class like 1900, you're coming to the class to present. Wow. And you know, when you make a mistake, people will make funny yes. comments. My legs, like that <laughs> thing, so it's in your mind. So, mm -hmm. even before you even have to present, so the fear is already there. So, that was something that I was also scared of. Okay. So, I, I didn't answer question in class, like, I'm scared, I'm just scared that, oh, okay, what's in my say is wrong? So, I will laugh at me. Yeah. But I would say, gradually, I had teachers who wouldn't say that, okay, oh, choose who you want to present. There yeah. are teachers who will point. I want this person to present. So mm -hmm. it builds that self-confidence. Even though when you start, there will be a little hitches here and there, but mm -hmm. as you st uh, continue practicing, yes. you become like abreast with whatever you are doing. So that helped me a lot. And then I was also op uh, able to overcome that the barrier. Yeah. Amazing. Um, being able to overcome that shyness, I'm, I, was it just the fact that your teachers were pushing you, or you, you also? Okay, so when it got to uh, it got to a time, I realized that even though they were pushing me, exactly, they were helping me. Right. So I need to also help myself, exactly, because it's one thing when someone wants you to do something and then you are doing it for the person, mm -hmm. you feel that oh, okay, let me do it for this person because he or she is asking for it, exactly. And then the other thing is okay. Even though the person is pushing me, the person has seen my strength, the person has seen some kind of um, ability right. in me. Okay, if this person has seen this, then why don't I involve myself in whatever I'm doing? Exactly. So I think I psyched my mind. Okay, if this person is seeing this in me, mm -hmm. it means that I have it exactly. and I need to push myself. So yes, that helped me a lot and then I was able to overcome 
that barrier to. Amazing, because um, I realized that you yourself as a person have to accept that you need to overcome a challenge exactly. before you can actually overcome it. Mm. You may have the push, but if you don't set your mind to mm. it, you may not be able yeah, to do it. Amazing. True. So when it comes to um, courses, what courses did you do in the university, GIJ? Well, I even remember, but... <laughs> <I was thinking. laughs> so diploma, I studied um, communication studies okay. and then... So I did communication studies in diploma and then degree I did communication studies by majored in PR, public relations. Right. Yeah. Okay. So but that was initially diploma. I didn't want to do public relations because as I mentioned, I wanted to become a journalist. Exactly. But when I did the diploma, I realized that um, public relations is a bit broader and it covers an aspect of journalism. Okay. So why don't I do something which is a bit broader so that you know, now looking at the uh, uh, unemployment rate in the country, at least if you don't have a chance mm -hmm. here, you can pursue exactly. another career here. So that's why I selected public relations, relations. over journalism. Amazing. Yeah. So now you still aspire to be a journalist? Yeah, a journalist or a public relations officer. Great. Amazing. So when you went to school, you mentioned that that was in JHS or SHS. You mentioned you did not take up any positions. Did you take up any positions when you got to GIJ? No. But I, <laughs> I didn't take up any positions, but I participated in a lot of um, curricular and um, extra activities in school, yeah. Such as? Such as um, we had um, politics. Okay. Everyone who goes to GIJ will know that there are courses that you need to be like a politician. So you yeah, are just advocating for people to vote for you, no, but it's not real, of course. So I engaged in politics, events. We had one, um, I think, um, level 300, okay. if I'm not mistaken. It was a political activity where we're supposed to select between NPP and then NDC. And then you advocate for people to vote for you. I okay. went to NPP, so I was like the party leader. Okay. Yeah, and it was fun. <laughs> I learned a lot. Yeah, and it all contributed to you know boosting my self-confidence amazing yeah. so at the beginning i mentioned you came out with the first class yeah. you mentioned that at the beginning you have problems with stati uh, statistics and then shyness aside from that did you have any other issues um aside from that because i was working okay so after um when i came to gij i was given the opportunity to intern with any company okay. and then i got multimedia the multimedia group limited okay. so i joined joy prime where i was doing a little bit of producing so production okay i was helping and then i also got the opportunity to go to tv and then do presenting so i was kind of doing a lot of things That's and then at the same time i was studying and this wasn't like a saturday going to school mm. on weekends right. it's a uh, throughout uh-huh so it was kind of, it, it was a problem for me okay. but um one thing you have to know is it all begins with a mindset okay. there are certain things you need to say that okay i want to overcome this problem i can overcome this challenge so you need to plan well you know that you are working you know that you are schooling how best can i manage my time so that i don't slack when you know I'm called to make um, account, uh, certain things at work. Right. And then they would see that, oh, I really left something <laughs> undone. undone. And then same, it shouldn't affect school. So right. you have to plan your time well. So even though sometimes it's very difficult because media job is already hectic. Right. And then anyone who also goes to GIJ will know that there are a lot of quizzes and all that. So it was a challenge. But that one too, because of proper time planning, I was able to overcome that Amazing. challenge. Amazing. Now that you've talked about time and planning, did you have a particular strategy? And if you did, can you share with us? Maybe your listeners want to know how you were able to balance work with school. And you came as a uh, first class. Okay. So, um, I never missed class. Okay. I never, unless maybe, of course, I'm sick. I never missed class. Right. At the time, uh, COVID stroke um, came to play where we were supposed to learn via zoom right. online 
there are some people who they'll just set the zoom <laughs> and then be doing other I things know. i attended zoom class like i should attend a class like the normal face-to-face -face class right. and so um that helped because usually when you miss class you miss a lot of things yeah and then this is a situation where i'm working and then i'm going to class if i decide that oh i won't go to class at the end of the day it is yeah, me that i'll be found uh -huh. okay. so i never miss class i make sure that okay multimedia sometimes i close like five i can get some ample time to study okay. and then i like to write i don't know i like to write a lot even if it's like one line i like to write so when teachers are teaching i would always write if, if anyone knows me will tell you that fact mm -hmm. so i think it helped me keep notes so even if i don't have the lecture notes my own notes because i've written it i'm yeah. really abreast with whatever i've written unlike something that they've typed for me okay. so during those small period i you need you need to rest but between like if it's 30 minutes it's fine mm -hmm. one hour it's fine you can rest so during the week you can study like maybe twice a week right. depending on your strength so it helped a lot and then if you don't understand anything it's easier to for you to listen to people so you have friends they can do vain i don't understand this so even if you're at work you have your earpiece in your your earpiece in your ears and then you'll be listening to it while doing other things yeah. and then i think it works for me it worked for me mm, yeah yeah right. <laughs> that's that's pretty nice because you had to combine work with school learning that's very very difficult i can say for a fact yeah and you came out with first class that's brilliant thank you so for your last year in school um i, I know that gig have a lot of projects you have to do teasers and all how did you do that because you were working and okay so um before i decided that because i was already working and then right. there was a lot on my desk i wanted to let someone do my project work okay but that idea changed when i saw um there was this campaign on joy news about road safety okay so they were advocating for um drivers motorcyclists to adhere to road tra um, traffic regulations right. so i took it upon myself in fact i became interested in the subject okay. so i read a lot and then i realized the number of people who are involved in accidents, accidents the number of people who die as a result of accidents so i think because i was interested mm -hmm. i decided that okay then i'll do my project by myself okay so i get towards and you know it has to be media related so i took it from the angle of you know People are preaching about road safety. There are a lot of road safety campaigns. Right. But does it have impact on these um, users, road users? Exactly. But I focused on motorcyclists uh, okay. because they are uh, the Okada men. Or <laughs> now, every now and then, one is involved in exactly. an accident, either a pedestrian or a, a car. So I decided to um, do a project around investigating the impact of um, campaigns on the behavior of road uh, users using the Okada riders okay. at Circle. And because I selected Circle, Circle is closer to my workplace. Right. So it's easier to get the people instead of taking from another region, which will be difficult. So it helped me a lot. My project um, work supervisor, my project supervisor was also helpful. Right. Even if there was a problem, he would find a way to correct you, go back, go and do this. He really helped me, Dr. Obeng, yes. so. It all helped me, yeah. Amazing. So did you know that you were getting the first class? Well, because of the grading, you would know. Okay. And I wasn't expecting it when I, when I got to level 300. And then in level 300, JIJ mm -hmm. introduced something new. That is awarding students who had um, GPA from 3.5 and above. Okay. Um, CGPA, sorry. So they, it was kind of a, an award for uh, rector, the rector's award. Okay. That was the name. And it was the first time GIJ had mm -hmm. introduced. So I was just there. I think I was coming to work. And then people texted me, congratulations, hey. congratulations. So I was like, <laughs> even though I was abreast with things happening, but I really don't focus on like messages posted in groups okay. and all that. Unless <laughs> maybe, of course, it's an assignment and other things. 
So I was asking, uh, why are they congratulating me? So a friend asked me to check my DM. He had sent a list. So I looked at it and it was the director's list of honor to honor um, students with CGPA 3.5 and above. And then my name was there. Hey. Even though I go to my portal, I didn't even pay attention that my GPA was, was around that point. So right from level 300, I got that award okay. together with a few students. And then um, when the results for level 400 came, I got, I didn't really get A, 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 I got B, I got C, so I was now contemplating, hey, if I can get this first class, I sometimes know, right? you be there, you see <laughs> yourself, see, I didn't um, but you know, like, the results are not in, you want to guess, oh, maybe I think I'll get B, because of how I wrote this exactly. paper, but um, when it came, I realized that I'd even passed the points that even would um, let someone get first class. Hey. So my GPA had even passed the 3.5, yeah. Wow, shock. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing, thank you for doing all the work and then pushing to get a first class. I mean, you didn't know, but I think the 3.0 award that it brought also pushed you because it kept you on your feet yeah, knowing because that. Yeah, it, 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 now it was like, Okay, if you work hard, mm -hmm. you get it. Exactly. And if maybe things doesn't go wrong, well, then it means that Charlie and mm -hmm. But I wasn't expecting the best advertising student. That was what I was coming to talk I about. I wasn't expecting it. Like, it came as a surprise. When they mentioned my name, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Why, why were you not expecting because, it? Because, well, <laughs> I had a lot of people in my class who were equally academic good. Like, okay. they were so good. So that award came as a surprise. That award came as a surprise. Amazing. I wasn't expecting it. When they mentioned my name, I had to delay before I stood up. <laughs> you had to, I mean, absorb the information you just. Yeah. Amazing. So do you remember the exact project you had worked on to have received that re uh, reward? Okay, so I mean, in advertising, we did a lot. We were supposed to advertise for a product. We selected Samsung. Okay. So we did a Samsung project. That's for my group. And then we also did for um, one that is about um, columns, yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yes, these are the projects I remember. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much because it's been a wonderful time with you and I've been inspired. I've learned so much from you and I'm sure our audience also have learned a lot from you because having first class is never easy. It's not easy at all. So I want you to look into the camera, encourage someone out there, a student, someone who is even thinking of going into school but has the doubt that, oh, maybe if I go, I might not do it. Well. Why, why do I waste the money? Speak to a parent also to give the, the students the chance to open up and do the things they are interested in because skills building is very important in, the, in our time now. So kindly inspire us. Okay, so if you're watching me out there, um, life is a journey. I started school not knowing that I would lose my mother along the way because all my li like I was doing everything for her, even though, yes, I was doing um, things for myself. But along the line, the person who desired to see me on TV, I lost the person. So these are things that happen in life. So maybe if you're watching me out there, maybe you've lost your parents and then you feel that, oh, no, I don't have to do this anymore because if my parents are not there, then why am I even pushing to get there? Remember that wherever they are, they are watching you. They are still watching you. And even if they are not watching you, there are people in the family, your friends, even workplace, there are people who really look up to you. So you need to push harder. It's not easy. You need to pray. Prayer is very, 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 very important. Mm -hmm. Put God first in everything you do. Right. Because at the end of it, or when the storm comes, he's the only person you can look up to. And then push yourself. Don't wait for someone to tell you what to do. You should know what you have to do. And then one more thing, take advantage of smaller opportunities. There are opportunities that might come your way and then you think, oh, this opportunity is small. Right. I don't want to go for it. No, take advantage of smaller opportunities. Use them and then make it bigger yourself. Mm -hmm.
thank you for watching. <laughs> thank you so much, Irene. You've inspired me, and I've had a wonderful time with you here. Thanks thank you, you for joining us. It's been a wonderful conversation with Irene Edubia Ainin, and she emerged the first a first class student in her school and also won an award as the best advertising student people like this need to be celebrated and since we are still in the month of september we are celebrating people who are doing excellently well when it comes to academics so reach us on all our social media platforms to be seated here to be interviewed so you can also share your story and that will be all on today's session of the in focus segment with me anita yayagbeku i'll see you next week with another amazing personality as always enjoy learning keep learning do you have anyone you want to celebrate in the month of september Send details to us and let Joy Learning TV celebrate that special person for you. Are you wondering how you can do that? Watch this video. It's time to wish your loved ones well on that special occasion. Is it the birthday or anniversary of your child, friend, classmate, your schoolmate, your teacher, or non-teaching staff of your school? The all-new JL Birthday Wish by Ghana's number one educational TV channel hits your regular classroom screen. And as usual, it is time for Jack to play and have fun. It has been made easy for you and this is how. Send a picture of your loved ones. Add their names, school, and location, and a heartwarming birthday a message and finally follow us on official joy learning tv on instagram like the jl birthday wish post and tag five friends send it to our whatsapp line 0247-108-738 and voila your birthday wish will be aired on joy learning tv and all our social media platforms learning is made fun with the jl birthday wish joy learning keep learning Don't forget to follow us on our social media handles, Facebook, X, and YouTube at Joy Learning TV, and on Instagram at Official Joy Learning TV. My name is Parkway C. Bannerman. Do enjoy the rest of our programs. Joy Learning, keep learning.